right, good morning everybody. This is Barton Holmes with Holmes & Owen Yacht Sales, Yamaha Marine Center. Today we are looking at a 2016 Regulator 34SS, which is a side console. Um, unfortunately this boat's been damaged. Uh, the owner of the boat has um, contacted us about getting the boat sold uh, in its current condition. So I wanted to do a couple of quick videos, one of an uh, outside video, then one inside the, uh, inside the boat. Um, so what had happened was the boat had come in for service work on the engines um, at a boat yard, and unfortunately it fell off the stands. Um, what you're seeing, it fell on this side of the boat. Um, the scratch marks you can see there. It was not here when it fell, but it was it was on over gravel area, not over cement, as I understand. Um, anyway, so it uh, the stands had fallen out in a rainstorm. Apparently, these had uh, the side support stands had uh, loosened or whatever. Anyway, it allowed the boat to fall off the stands, and it landed on its side here. You can see the scratching, um, and of course on the bottom here. Um, when I'm making this video, I can't attest to the to the damage to the boat. All I'm trying to do is just give a video representation of the way the boat looks now. Um, but that's the bottom of the boat. There are some scratches and some uh, dings. Here's a here's a spot where it went through into the glass. Um, the water that you might see there is coming from a drain inside the boat in the cockpit that's leaking. It's not water leaking through the fiberglass. It's on the exterior. Um, here's another spot where it chipped through the gel coat. Another spot there. That seems to be that seems to be the worst of it. Um, the other side uh, has, compared to this side, has almost no apparent damage to it. Uh, with the, the fish, uh, the fish that you see on the side of the boat, it's all a wrap. The boat is full navy blue. Um, so when you pull the wrap off. The gel coat underneath there should be in really great shape. Windless up there through stem windless should be not affected. This side was the up upside, so it did not do any damage, at least that I can see to this side of the boat. Really looks that looks quite good. A little oxidation there, navy blue in the sun. The boat has been sitting here, I believe, since December of 18. The bottom of the boat. This is on the port side. We go back up here to the bow real quick. But it does have a bow thruster. Come back to the stern, and this is where the the real damage occurred. All right, so you got a triple engine. These are triple 300 Yamahas. Um, oh, let's go over before we get there. Uh, underwater lights, trim tabs. They don't seem to have been affected. The bracket, I can't see any sort of fractures or anything in any of the welds. I don't even see any dislodging in the caulk around the bracket, so I don't see any, any damage there. But when we come back here, you can see that it really hurt the engines. Uh, the one on the, the um, far outboard port side appears to be undamaged. I don't see any damage to that one at all. That was on the the upwind side, if you will, and obviously the center engine was broken off of its mount here, and the skeg was damaged, so that one's going to need a lot of work. And the same thing with this side, with the starboard side. You can see the welds. They look good in my opinion. Steering cylinders seem to be okay. Transom assemblies seem to be okay, but obviously the engine mounts are, are toast. Um, I've only pulled one of the cowlings off. I took some pictures. That center cowling's been slightly dislodged, so I wanted to make sure water wasn't getting in there, and it looks very good inside. The other ones are sealed up, so I didn't pull the cowlings off of that, but uh, uh, if, if they look like the center engine, then, they're, then that part is all should be in good shape. Um, Swim ladder pulls out of the, the Armstrong bracket. All right, so that's the exterior from the ground. I'm going to do another video um, of the interior of the boat. So 
Stand by.